guys welcome to my channel 3d amuser this is my fourth part of my substance painter tutorial uh, to recap uh, we learned how to how to paint in substance painter in the previous tutorial and before then we learned how to create smart mask uh, smart materials and materials and uh, mask how to edit mask in painter and today we're going to learn how to create smart mask in uh, substance painter I really like smart mask because it has a lot of features in it. There are several different smart masks, smart mask in Substance Painter. Um, it's from dust to uh, rust, and there's like edges, edge uh, surface worn, and everything. I, as a personal preference, I use those masks as a mask in Maya to do my shading. Uh, but some people, for doing game assets, they use it in the Substance Painter itself. And uh, before that, let's get started, guys. So now I have my substance painter. So if you know, uh, so from the previous tutorial we did all this. If you want to learn how to do this, um, I I will have the link in my description so you guys go and check it out. So I'm gonna hide everything. So you see, like all my UVs are perfectly laid out. And if you know how to do this, uh, you can also go and watch the tutorial as well. I will have the link in the description as well as as well as well. Uh, so. Uh, so now I have this mesh 1011 so we create this material so to add something to add a smart mask what you have to do is hello guys welcome to my channel 3d I'm user this is my fourth part of the substance painter tutorial to recap you learned in the previous tutorial how to paint in substance painter and before then we learned how to create smart materials and how to create your own smart material in this tutorial i'm going to discuss about how to create smart mask what are smart masks uh, smart masks are like uh, like generators but it has a lot of parameters to it so we can literally add a lot of uh, uh, smart masks on top of my top of our materials there are a lot of smart masks i'm going to show you so this is my substance painter and to access the smart mask tab so if you go to the shelf and if you go to smart mask so you see there are at least like 30 smart masks here you can literally use all the smart masks in the material as well as a personal preference i use this mask as a mask to do my shading in maya but a lot of people who are doing game masses they do it in substance painter itself and they use to get the desired result and um, in order to create a smart mask and however I also teach you guys how to do this uh, substance painter paint job as well as creating this material um, I will have the description in this uh, I will have the link in this description so you guys go and check it out and I'm turning off everything to make my system faster um, if you know how to lay out the UVs in UDEMS, you can also check that tutorial as well. I will add the link in the description so you guys can check it out. So uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to be working on the first UDEM. So my substance is loading, loading the material. So it's going to take some time. So in order to create a smart mask, what you have to do is the smart mask works on a fill layer. So you say add fill layer, you go here, I click once here. So it's going to create a fill layer inside my folder. Sometimes it creates outside, it doesn't matter, you can just pull it in. And what you can do is, if you see, it's going to fill everything with white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a dust stained uh, mask. So I'm going to click and drag and throw it in my fill layer. So it's loading my smart mask. So if you see, the dust stain uh, is kind of like white. It's kind of like somebody powdered my geo. So in order to change the color, you see the fill layer act as a material. It's like by its own material. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change it to black. So you see, it literally shows up here. So you can all, you also have these controls. There's also height map, normal map, rough map, and metal map. So there's no metal in it, so I'm gonna turn it off. So it's not gonna act as, this is a dust, but if you want roughness, I'm gonna show you. So there's no roughness in here. If I turn all the way in, so you can see the roughness. So it's whenever I rotate my geo, the dust kind of like pops out. So you can literally see it here. So if I turn it off, there's no roughness there. So the dust is like this. It has no roughness in it. 
so it has all those parameters so if you don't want that you could turn that off as well and there's height map as well so you can also pull height map so if you go towards white uh, towards the uh, plus value it's going to bump up if you're going to go inside it's going to be bump in you could also literally punch in the value because since it's a dust it's going to accumulate on top of it so it's on the positive side so i'm going to say 0.1 so i'm going to keep it so uh, that's really low so i'm going to say 0.1 that's how it looks like so there you go there you could see like this is a little bit over exaggerated so let's say i'm 0 0.05 so there you go it's there it's really subtle and uh, that's how it creates mask mask and i'm gonna say dust stained so there you go so i'm gonna show you so here it has all these parameters you can adjust i'm gonna show you we're gonna add one more smart mask here so you guys can learn how to do it so i'm gonna say add a fill layer so i'm gonna say this is uh all paint so where's uh paint all so i'm gonna click and drag it here Boom. So the paint is there. It's pretty white, but I don't want white. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a color from my diffuse. So there you go. So it has the lighter value because that's how paint works. It's, it's kind of like chipped out, but the scale is a little bit off. You can see it because it has a lot in it because I don't want that. So what I'm going to do uh, to adjust the scale, to adjust your parameters, you go to the mask editor and you play the global balance so if the global balance is high it's gonna show up more so you see see it's kind of fills it up so i don't want more so i want less so so i literally went 0.15 oh it went it went super subtle so let's bump it up so we could see a little better. Mm, yeah, it pops up now. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's what I want. So the global balance is like how much you want in your geo, and the contrast is if we go the contrast all the way in, it's going to be really sharp. If you want it like a black and white mask. So you see, it gives the contrast. I always keep. The contrast below my global balance because it's going to have values from black to white and, and in between so you will have a lot of variations when you do shading you see there is like it's kind of like out a little bit of uh, uh, black value and the white value it's kind of mixed up but that's what we want because we want variations in it so you can see literally the variations here you can also go at the bottom so there are two textures making this scratched paint so if you go here this is the texture working on our geo so you can literally go and bring your own grunge map here as well so you go and bring your put your texture maps here then you can pull it here so you could also this also have like uh have controls here as well if i go with the brush pattern i so it's the brush pattern going to be showing up here So you see, I'm just, I hit C to see the color map. There you go. Uh, the brush pattern is really big, so I'm going to reduce it. So if you see, you could also, this is more, if you want less, you could like adjust the uh, brush pattern as well as the balance and contrast as well. So it does a lot of, uh, want to work so it has a lot of parameters so you can work with it and you can also play with it to get a desired result whatever you want so since i messed up with the brush pattern so it's kind of like tiled more and um, you can literally go and fix it uh, also you can go like literally like that guess i'm getting a line here so you get the idea guys so yeah like a lot of parameters to play here so you can go and play and do whatever you want you can also adjust the texture as well um, how much how much the first texture and second texture you want uh, that's how the algorithm is uh, work behind it so they are using two textures to put it so if you hit M so you could see it it's literally there 
so my dust plane kind of like freaks out with my height map so what I'm gonna do I'm going to not have any height map on the dust so now if I go to my old paint so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have some height map in here so so there you go so usually the chipped uh, the old paints are always like chipped from the new paint so I'm gonna have a little bit a little bit it's there but it's really subtle you could you could literally see a little bit don't go overboard with it so this is 0.5 I'm gonna say 0.4 maybe yeah from this from this far you, you won't even see it you can literally see it even that is too much but you get the idea so that's how you create smart mask guys and uh, once you have it you can literally copy those and you can literally go to the other items this might crash sometimes because it's crashed on me before so you can literally go and grab and paste the um, mask here that's it so you don't have to go and do everything but you can still go and fix the parameters in each individual layer but you see it's there so now if i turn on zero one boom it works with it there you go so that's how you create smart mask in substance painter to recap what we learned today in order to create a smart mask you go and create a fill layer and add a smart mask and you go here and change the material properties if you want height map you can have height map if you want to change the roughness you can change the roughness and you keep adding it you can also multiply as well you can do all the operation as photoshop as well so that's it guys and uh, that's it for today and in the next tutorial um, i'm going to be talking about generators um, and particles and watch for it and if you like this tutorial please like subscribe and comment below and if you have any questions in Substance Painter or in Maya or any 3D modeling application, uh, email me at 3 damuser.gmail.com. I will happy to help you guys. Uh, until then, have a great day, guys.